gonna be 100% honest with y'all, I'm a total baby, right? Like a total baby here. Am I approved? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what she's setting me up for. Yeah, so it's like, but why is she like this? And I'm about to tell y'all how this all went down, right? So I was online dating for a while because there's a beautiful song, and it goes, um, once upon a time, not long ago, I was a hoe, and I admit it. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and I was on this website called Sparkology.com, and it's a website you have to get approved to be on it. You have to have graduated from a certain, like, um, like a, a certain crest of college, and they don't. I don't know that they actually check it, but like, I felt really good being admitted to Sparkology.com, and I began online dating, and I meet this guy. His name is Zay, and the reality is, I could have told y'all a fake name, right? But I don't want to do that. The man's name was Zay Lee. You can find him. And, uh, <laughs> Zay was significantly younger than me, but he was Korean, and he was a Kappa from the University of Delaware. Now, for those of you who know, Kappa Alpha Psi is a historically black fraternity, and Zay is this like Korean boy in a black fraternity? I don't know why that turned me on so much. So like, <laughs> so I start Sparkology, sending sparks to Zay, because that's how they, that's how you communicate on Sparkology, right? So we're sending each other sparks and we're like texting. Now we become friends and time passes. He ghosts me. Months later, I forgive him. Present day, he wants to come over, right? And he's telling me a story about how like he has a dog now. And I'm like trying to pretend like I'm interested in this dog. So I'm like, oh, that's so exciting. I just got an apartment in Hell's Kitchen. Bring your dog to my house and we can I can meet the dog and I can care. You don't want to leave this stupid dog alone while you come fuck me. Fine, right? So he gets to this one. He drives from Brooklyn to Hell's Kitchen and he brings his dog. I don't know the, what kind of dog it was. I don't know how old the dog was. I just know the little bitch kept running around like way too much. <laughs> so <laughs> Zay and I are talking. He brings a bottle of wine, and though I think because Zay was a little bit younger, he really thought that if he brought wine, it would impress me. But I was already <laughs> impressed because you were a cafe in Korea, and you don't have to do any more work. <laughs> so like, but he brings the wine, and we're drinking it, and we're watching something on Hulu. It's probably Friends. So like, <laughs> and I'm talking to him about like his career goals, and he wants to do a startup, and um, I think it's some sort of like a marshmallow delivery company. Like he he's creating these gourmet marshmallows. And like, I'm sorry, I'm very vague on it because I wasn't listening. I'm sitting here thinking about all these like pictures he sent me in the mirror of him like shirtless. And I'm like, all right, Zay, this is great. So um, sex time? And he's like, sure. So <laughs> I'm undressing him and Zay's so gorgeous, right? Like just a really, really good looking guy. But he talked a lot. And <laughs> he would be sitting here like, you know, Rashida, I'm really glad we're and I'm like, Zay, you ghosted me. Stop talking about this. No, 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 no. I'm really glad that we reconnected. Zay, you're seven years younger than me. You went to go fuck somebody else and it's fine. Stop talking. No, 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 Rashida. Rashida, you're beautiful. And then I was, I think I may have like, in that moment, just was like, <laughs> <laughs> And he knew I was playing, so it made him laugh. And then we started doing the do. Now this dog is running around. <laughs> And the dog jumps on the bed. And I don't know how some of y'all operate, but I don't want dogs on the bed, period. I particularly don't want a dog on the bed while I'm having sex, right? And I just think that's fair, okay? If you want to sleep in a bed with your dog, be my guest. Do I have to have sex with your dog, like my body pillow next to me? No, that's not fair to me, right? So. I'm like, get off the bed. And the dog jumps off the bed and Zay stops. And he's like, you could have been nicer. <laughs> <laughs> and the, the fucked up part is like, I actually felt bad. <laughs> so I'm like, you're right. So we start up again. The dog jumps back on the bed. And now I'm scared <laughs> to say anything to the dog. So now I gotta stop, and I'm like pushing the dog, kind of like, okay, get down, 
get down, get down, push the dog off the bed and say, stop. Why can't you, like, is this how you're going to be with your kids? Why you got to push the dog off the bed? And I'm sitting here thinking to myself, well, if my kids were in the bed while I'm trying to have sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have bigger fish to fry. If I have to wait until my kid is, I don't even want to go there. It's so fucked up. So, like, again, I'm feeling bad because I don't want to disrespect this dog. It has been so long since I've been laid. So, <laughs> the dog jumps back on the bed and this time I just don't say anything. I regret every moment of not saying anything. I stand before you today saying this, still regretting having not said anything. So now the dog's on the bed and the dog starts licking my toes. <laughs> and I'm having sex with Zay. And Zay knows the dog is licking my toes and Zay don't say shit to this dog. Let me take this moment and say, this whole time Zay ain't say shit to his dog, right? So now I'm just this fucked up disciplinarian trying to get his dog off the bed. Also, I'm about to have a threesome with a dog. That's a train, that's a train, that's a train. Oh, that's not funny. No. <laughs> I'm about to have a threesome with this dog. And the dog is looking at my toes. And I'm riding Zay, looking behind at this dog who's like looking at my toes. And I'm like kicking up my foot, trying to get this dog off my foot. And the dog comes, like, <laughs> the dog comes, scurries around, the dog doesn't come. The dog scurries around. You sure? I'm gonna shut up, I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna shut the dog up. scurries around and like, sits up, right on the pillow I put my face on. The dog's raw ass <laughs> is sitting up on the pillow in which I put my face on. So I gotta stop. Get off Zay, and I can't lay down because the dog is there, so I'm like kneeling next to Zay. And I'm like, Zay, I need you to get the dog off the bed. And he was like, Why are you acting like this? Like, why am I like this? So Zay is holding his penis in his hand. The dog scurries around and starts licking Zay's ball. Oh. Zay continues to have a whole conversation about my attitude and my temper. <laughs> Why the dog is licking his balls, right? And I think to myself, I'm not the only actor. I'm being reprimanded by a man who just forced me to have a threesome with a with a dog, right? And I mean, I get this is New York City. We can't, you know. It, it, ain't, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, you know. Why, why, let's not cancel out options. But like, that's why I'm still here. Finally, the dog is licking Zay's balls, and Zay's telling me that I need to like, you know, like I need to check my attitude and like my temper when it comes to the dog. And I stop, and I was like, Zay, the dog is licking the balls. <laughs> <laughs> and I yell at the dog, and I was like, Get down! The dog doesn't stop licking his balls. The dog is defiant. <laughs> Zay continues to not say anything. The dog continues to lick Zay's balls. And I am sitting here completely uncomfortable in my home and in my bed while this man, who was so beautiful, this Korean Kappa, <laughs> is cheating in front of me with his fucking <laughs> I let him finish. <laughs> and then Zay left. And once again, Zay ghosted me. <laughs> and the sad part is, two years later, did I fuck Zay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but in all fairness, I wasn't planning on fucking Zay. I ran into him at the party, and the dog was older and better behaved. <laughs> so the dog stayed in the living room. And you know what? Maybe it's my fault, because I have a studio apartment. Who knows? <laughs> there were no walls and no partitions to keep the dog away from the bed. Like, everybody just has to be accountable for the role that they played in this. <laughs> I did ask him to bring the dog. I tried to relate to him on a human level. But you can't do that because it's a dog. <laughs> and 
that is stuff we pay for quite some time. <laughs> Needless to say, you can't trust these motherfuckers. You don't know the next time you're gonna get tricked into having a threesome with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so I keeps it proved now. <laughs> now I keeps it proved. Because I don't need no man thinking that I'm the type of woman that would have a threesome with his household domesticated friend. <laughs> so I don't put myself out there like that. That's my awkward <laughs>